It is Monday, May 24th, and I started work on my first year exam today. Well, it was the first I actually worked a couple of hours. <laughs> so I took a piece of the digital literacy paper, and that's going to be the beginning of, of my first year exam. Today is Tuesday, May 25th, and I read some sources today. I didn't feel like I was very productive. I was kind of distracted by the web and Twitter. It is May 29th, and I got some feedback from my readers in the few days that it's been. Okay, so it's super late. It's 2.30 in the morning. Um, I actually started drafting yesterday, so then I cut and pasted some materials from my comp paper that I wrote for Anne for section two. I actually just reread it and it made a lot more sense than it did to me when I was writing it. So I kind of used the writing process to figure out what I was saying about that. So I sent that draft to Joanna and Danielle and we're going to Skype tomorrow at two o'clock and they're going to give me their feedback on it. My plan of attack at this point is to go in and write the third section because the third section on music is really what the paper is about and then I can really return to the first two sections. But I'm just overwhelmed and I feel like section three is so huge I don't know how to narrow it down. I always get like this where I say I don't know and then when I'm actually doing it I figure out a way so I think I just have to dive in and stop stop uh, dragging my feet and just go. Just you know blah vomited words onto the page um, just to get something down. So I wrote and wrote and got three double space pages when I was done. Read, took note on the sources, then spent about um, 30 minutes or so making a detailed outline of the beginning of the section I'm going to try to write tomorrow. I spent some time reorganizing what I'd written, so I um, had to make a written outline on a piece of paper. And I just have to go back and refine and connect the pieces of the draft. And I have two days to do that, so then I have to turn it in on Monday. Ah! My job for tomorrow is to go back and re-edit the, the music section. So then I went back to the beginning part and this evening really thought about the ways that I need to integrate it and redo it. And I ended up making about three pages of handwritten notes. Today is Monday, June 14, and it is a day of celebration. I have turned in my official first draft to my readers and I'm so very excited. And it's been three weeks since I worked on my exam. So now I have all the feedback I need to um, continue with draft um, two. Of so what I did is I read my entire draft and reverse outlined it. And the main thing I did was rewrote the opening section. So now the opening section is really long, it's 10 pages. So I'm doing so much writing at once that I'm not really sure how it's all coming together. So And I'm still in my robe at 5 p.m. <laughs> but I've been working. I want to redo my term and I did some brainstorming with the girls about what term to use and so I think it's going to be something about multimodal composition or just composition with an emphasis on musical rhetoric. And the draft is really becoming about two things now. It's becoming about defining comp and then we need a comp within that definition of comp that is focusing on musical rhetoric. And so I have to add additional paragraphs to each of those sections and the emotion section, which makes it more practical and actually envisions a classroom and what we would be doing with each of those activities. I'm excited that this is getting close, but it's a slow, slow process. Today is Monday, July 19th, and I have just sent the email to Barry and Bump, sending them draft two. Before, when I turned it in, I was so happy, and now it's kind of let down. In the interim here, while I was in Alaska, and after I returned, I composed a video and sent that to the readers too. So today, I have already started my revisions, and the good news is there's not much to do. He so wanted me to add a focus on how I would grade audio. So. I don't know what I'm going to do with that suggestion. Because I don't, I don't really want to talk about assessment. It's just another thing. I'm whining, huh? I got a little frustrated, and I wanted to put assessment in the conclusion. So I emailed Barry and asked if he thought that would work. He thought that that was the easy way out, and he wanted me to to see me weave assessment more throughout the entire paper. I couldn't figure out a way to end it, like in a way that was striking and meaningful. The last sentence sucks. Um, I woke up at 1 a.m. the night before and thought of a way to end the whole paper that I liked better. Today I got feedback from all three girls and decided to rewrite. I'm closing it all with like a, a paragraph analysis of Allie's video and why it was good. Which I think why? is a much stronger way to end the section and it brings it around like Barry wanted so he was right. This is making it better, but it's just a lot more work. I reread 
the changes I made to the rhetorical appeal section and I think it's much, much, much improved. So I'm so thankful to my writing group and to Christy for giving me feedback um, because of a lot of the changes I made were a result of their feedback. And I believe more than ever that writing is a collaborative effort. It is still Thursday, August 19th. It's now 11.43 p.m. But I have just submitted my exam. Here's crossing my fingers <laughs> that um, they don't want anything major or anything at all done to it. And they'll sign the form and say, yay. <laughs> it is! Thursday, September 2nd, and I'm officially done! <laughs> Got emails from both Barry and Bump um, telling me that I've passed the exam. So Barry says, um, Crystal has written a fine first year paper grappling with the challenges of incorporating audio into her teaching and her students' learning about composition. Um, Bump says, I think you're just opening the door to the wide horizon of your future work. Welcome to the party. It's good to have you. So, welcome to the party. Woo! And I'm done. <laughs>